This is the rainbow kale salad. Okay. Oh, I love salad. Just like I, I love salad too. Just like I love dessert and cupcakes. It's you know balanced. I, I liked kale before kale was cool. I'm not trained or anything, but what I do is I like roll up the kale. And usually I'll stack a lot of it up, and then it just makes it really super smart. Easy. Into yeah, logs, it's called like, something. Right, like a chiffonade. Yes, it's a chiffonade, mm -hmm. and then I just cut it like that. So that's, and then look, it's like magic, you know? It's so that's, confetti. Exactly. So that's what's in here, and I really love rainbows and tie dye. So this is like the baked by Melissa version <laughs> of a salad. And what I do is I chop up as much kale as I have, usually one to two heads, depending on how much right. you're, how many people you're feeding. And I like to go in rainbow order because people- Roy G. Biv? Yeah, exactly. People eat with their eyes just as much as they eat so with their teeth. So adorable. Tears. And then it looks beautiful. And really it's just for the pe person making it because most of my salads I serve um, already dressed because I think it tastes better that way. Yeah, you're letting it hang out. Yeah, so look, we're making a little rainbow. Tomatoes, yellow, it's sitting on green, yeah. and now you go here. into that indigo violet. Yeah, and here we could leave. Nice. Um, there we go. So you have like a whole rainbow, and the dressing is so delicious. Usually when you eat a salad, you know, yes. the dressing is, is the best part, or... Yeah, I'm eyeing your dressing. You're going to good place. Yeah, okay, so it's a miso vinaigrette. I created this recipe. You could find the recipe for the rainbow kale at bakedbymelissa.com. You could just search blog, check out our beautiful cupcakes too. So I have all the recipes there, but I don't really follow recipes. We write in, in freehand equivalents. Yeah, around exactly. Here, so we get it. Can I grate this in for Grate it in, go ahead. Gotcha. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grate in a little garlic. And I'm gonna add red wine vinegar. Nice. I love red wine vinegar, but you could add whatever vinegar you have. Like yeah. rice vinegar, white vinegar. Right, doesn't whatever's really in matter. your pantry. Sure. Exactly. You just want that nice acidity. Exactly. Yeah. And then this is like, I don't know, a tablespoon of dried oregano. Nice. Into the pool. And then Nutritional yeast, which basically makes things taste... Tastes like cheese. Exactly, mm. without using cheese. Tastes like grated cheese. That, all of it, because it's so good. Um, it is delicious. You want some lemon juice yes. in there, too? The juice, I, like almost every salad dressing I make... Me it too. ...consists of the juice of two lemons. It's like, I'm always saying the juice of two lemons. Oh, well, oh, that's a hard this lemon. This lemon is pretty tight. Here's a fun, <laughs> here's a fun tip. If the fruit feels tight before you cut it, Put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds, and it'll ripen it. There you go, I didn't know that. It'll, it'll ripen it for you, and you will be the boss of that juice, baby. Uh. Oh yeah, that's a tight. Yeah. And then the miso, yeah? Three tablespoons-ish Ish. of white miso paste. I made the mistake the first time I cooked with miso paste of using a dip, like a red, which is also great, I'm sure, in certain recipes. <laughs> Not in this. But make sure to use white miso paste. And it's salt mellow. and pepper. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then you mix it and it becomes creamy and so delicious. Move these so they can see. Look how creamy that is. It's creamy and salty and delicious and nutritious, and most importantly, nutritious. Right? right? And, and it tastes you like care. you have a ton of cheese in it. Exactly, and you could like drink the dressing and it's just as nourishing as the salad, which wow. is what I typically go for. <laughs> you wanna, come on, you, you, you finale it. It's your, it's your creation. Okay, so you're gonna put it on top. I feel like you need the whole experience, which is why I like to dress it for the people I'm cooking for. And then I'm just gonna mix it. So here, here, babe. We made, we made the rainbow for like, us, right? you know? Like I do it for myself because I like to enjoy the process and see beautiful things too, but this is equally as beautiful. It's stunning. And you can- So pretty!